All right, so are these guys gonna be okay? They get 2,500, uh, 25,000 kilocalories. So that's a good, a few cycles. Uh, we should be planting food here. Hey, Furiago. <gasps> All right, let's check in on the main, the main show. We're up to three tons of steel. Let's see, three tons of steel. We're making glass, right? Lots and lots. Let's turn this up to 93. That'll get us our 100 jobs total. And then we're out of coal, huh? For ceramic. Auto save. Hmm. That is maybe a problem. How much ceramic do we have? Uh, 1,600 kilograms. How much do we need to make the thing? The monument. So it's the it's the midsection of the ceramic. We need 2,500 kilograms. So we don't have quite enough. Um, do we have coal? No. Okay. Maybe we need to go mine coal. Hey, uh, uh, purple ten. Uh, refreshing tab. We'll go out for a while. Still got you. Got you. Got, got me a tab. All right. Well, hey, thanks. <laughs> thanks for uh, keeping my viewer count up. <laughs> uh, what was he doing? Oh yeah, I was gonna look for coal. Yeah. <laughs> Much love. Uh, how do I do that? Oh yeah, materials overlay, and then we look for consumable ore? What color is coal? So that's salt. Lots of salt here. Uh, there we go, this is all coal. So I can mine all this out. And this is properly, uh, pro properly, that's the word, properly outside of the base. So we don't care about like le letting the um, chlorine leak or anything like that, so we're just gonna dig this all out, I think. Gonna build some ladders through here, I think. And uh, maybe a cross. One, two, three, one, two, and then a cross. Should be good. I'm gonna give us kind of a platform to be able to, to mine stuff out with. Let's get all of this coal. Okay, that might be enough. Uh, I should probably figure out actually how much ceramic I need now. So it's just not going on forever. So we have 1600 kilograms. And for the monument. Oh, hey, Ninja Juice. Thanks for coming in. Keeping me tabbed. It's appreciated. <laughs> How are you doing this um, evening, question mark? Happy Friday. <laughs> um, there we go, furniture, right. Every time I have to remember where it is. Uh, so, monument midsection. Needs 2,500 kilograms of ceramic. More loves. Uh, 2,500, and we have 16, so we need about another ton, another 1,000 kilograms of ceramic. Each job makes 100 kilograms, so we only need like 10 more. So let's, let's say that we're gonna do, we're not gonna do forever anymore. We're gonna do, let's have a little extra, so that'd be fine. That way we won't use up all the coal once we're done mining. Um, power issues? Oh, right, because we're out of coal. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, okay, they're mining it. That's good. Let's up the priority of this whole area. Do 
do these things. Do all these things. All right. So we have some coal. We're producing power again here. This is topped up. Why was, uh... Is this okay now? Yeah, this is fine. These are normal warnings. <laughs> that we don't have every single ingredient ever. Uh, so that's fine. Um... I'm just gonna ignore... Well, there, there might be something interesting, like a care package. Yeah, we'll take some food. We have... Oh, our food is kind of decreased. We're, we're down to like half a million uh, kilocalories. So we'll, we'll take some more food. We can also uh, harvest the uh, hatches that have been hatched. Oh, look, there's the base. The uh, Mangima base. And, uh... Need to make a couple of ladders here so we're actually able to deconstruct that. So, what do we think? Am I going to have enough room to build the full Mangima here? I, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Furniture. Much scrolling. Mangima in section. So we need five tons of steel. Uh, we're working on that. We need uh, 2,500 kilograms of plastic. So that should be two and a half tons. And we have 37 tons, so we should have plenty. Uh, I think what we've learned is that when it shows, if any of the resources are missing, it shows them all in red, which is kind of unfortunate. I actually kind of wish it would show like our total resources and the amount needed, and just the ones that we're, we're short on or were highlighted, but that's not how it works right now. Um, and eventually we'll have ceramic. Did we get... Uh, I guess the other thing we could do is we could deliver some... Uh, or rather, we could have a, uh, a storage bin over here. Uh, for coal. So we're up to... Oh, I'm not tracking glass. Let's add glass here. We have 225 kilograms of glass, and how much did we need for the, uh, I think it was the head that needed glass, right? Yeah, we need 2,500, uh, so two and a half tons of glass. And we have, <laughs> not quite a tenth of that. So we'll get there. delivering resources here, which is good. So how much, um, so if we're gonna make 14 ceramic, each ceramic needs 25 kilograms of coal. So we need like, like 300 kilograms of coal. Let's set a small number here. Maybe like 500. Just so the dupes don't have to like go and get coal and bring it here each time to do one job. We can have a cache of it. Steel is increasing. Um, how are we doing on the inputs for the steel? Right, so we need so we have lots and lots of refined carbon, and still have a good amount of lime, enough for like 62 more batches of steel. Each steel batch is 100, so I think we, we should have enough inputs here to get through the steel we need for the monument. And that's the goal. I wasn't actually sure if we, if there was uh, what the chances were of actually getting the monument done today. It's looking possible. It's, it's not looking impossible. I guess the thing is, the head does need diamond. Uh, do we have diamond? Do 
It's always on auto save. Diamond. So we do have diamond. We have almost a ton of diamonds. Now, how, how many tons of diamond do we need for the monuments? Which is a funny thing to say. Tons of diamonds. <laughs> Two and a half tons of diamonds. All right, so while the dupes are going doing stuff, let me go see if I can find some diamonds. What does that look like? That's bleach stone. Uh, maybe if I alt S. Does it not have a? An, uh, oh, it's not a consumable ore, right? It's a. Uh, it's a mineral. No. What is it? It's this, which apparently doesn't show up on any, any, any of the overlays, but that's fine. So we got some diamond there, some diamond there. Uh, is there any near? There's some here. What, what kind of temperatures are we dealing with here? <laughs> uh, hmm. Was there some diamond up here? So that's lead. We're gonna see the okay, it's right here. And this is not too hot. I might just dig down through here. Maybe like this way. There we go. And we'll dig all this out. Much diamond. There we go. Uh building a tomb. Uh, yeah, how did that get there? Where did the dirt come from? That's an odd one. Or that dirt, for that matter. Huh. Don't know. Hmm. Where's this dirt? Where, where's the little bits of dirt coming from? I'm not sure. All right, so what are we at? We're at 2,200, I think it was 2,500 kilograms of ceramic for the uh, next section of the monument. Uh, what else? Uh, 2,500 kilograms of plastic, we got lots of that. Five tons of steel, so almost. We almost have enough for the midsection. And I think, yeah. It, if things continue to go well, um, I guess once we have the five tons of steel, I'll stop the steel production, and then that should free up some dupes to work on the glass forge, uh, and maybe we can actually finish the monument today. Wouldn't that be wild? Maybe not so much, given that we're on cycle 837. It's not, it's not a speed run. I guess I never did really uh, do anything with the power control station. We could have used some refined metal to make the hydrogen generators more efficient. Might be a few more minutes uh, for them to finish. Uh, which thing? <laughs> it, it's it's probably gonna take a while for the glass forge to get. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to, for all the things to actually happen. But I'm just saying that I think at the pace that we're at, we might actually be able to finish this playthrough of Oni today. We got uh, the better part of an hour and a half left. So I think it's doable, that's all I'm saying.
Look at him go. <laughs> Check in on Smeralos. I don't want my dupes over here to starve. Uh, their calories are going down, but it looks like we are growing bog buckets now, so they are going to grow their own food, which is great. Oh, interesting. Let's um, remove this tile, I think. I, I like how we have a spot of liquid nuclear waste <laughs> just there hanging out. It's fine. It's just a little radioactive. Oh, it's not. Uh, it's barely any. I guess it's not a lot of liquid. It's a kilogram of liquid. It's fine. up the water here a little bit. The, the dupes on this planetoid are getting a lot of malices because of their they're they're going through all these different nasty gases and they're walking through puddles and they don't like it, right? Um, and I can't really do so much about the, the gas situation without spending a lot of time like making this into a proper base. But we can at least like mop things up a little bit. And eventually they'll feel better. Their their feet will dry off or whatever. All right. What about crops over here? Always an auto save. What's going on with the crops? We got some mutations, I guess. That's just the seed. I know mutation. Uh, there is a thing. I guess I, I never did the research for it. To, uh, to do the mutation, um, what is it called? I don't even know. Maybe I have unlocked it. I've unlocked a lot of research. So here's like the, if we wanted to do a, a nuclear reactor, there's that stuff. <laughs> or a, uh, a nuclear, uh, a Red Bull engine. Hydrogen, liquid oxidizer. Interplanetary launcher is something I've seen in other people's playthroughs where you can actually send cargo between planetoids. Uh, the Bracken stuff that's newish. Uh, I guess whatever it is I have unlocked. Let's see, is it is it under food? No, it's probably under stations. A lot of stations. <laughs> uh, shearing, grooming, botanical analyzer. Identifies new seed subspecies. Is this uh, 480 watts? Hmm. Where do I have spare power? Not there. I don't know. I think maybe I'll just save that for later. But that's the thing you build to be able to do stuff with the... Uh, the unidentified subspecies, I think. I don't know exactly what that does. Maybe it gives you variants with different qualities? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so do we have... We still don't have enough ceramic. Let me, uh... We should have nearly enough ceramic. Let's try... Let's see, can I go to furniture? And... Yeah, midsection is available. Let's go over there. Check this out. 
customized sections of a great monument can be mixed and matched. Interesting. Doesn't look like we have any customization options, but... Uh, I think... Let's see. So, I need to make a little bit more room. And probably we just need to expand the base a little bit. Uh, so, let's get prepared for that. Sandstone. We have sandstone, right? Surely. Surely we have sandstone. Maybe not nearby? So many kinds of things. Yeah, we get 26 tons. Oh, here we go. All right. Cool. Now, please get this done. <laughs> and now, remove these. Ooh, vertical wind tunnel. All right. Can we put this here? Well, let me guess. This, this is not reachable. Ah. I wish the dupes were just a little bit smarter. They're very happy. Hey, Brainless. Welcome back. We now have enough materials to make the midsection once I can actually get a dupe to remove all the stuff that's in the way. Yeah, all right. And get rid of that one. Good job. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Midsection. There we go. Bam. All right, so the head. Can we see how big the head is? No. <laughs> We're not allowed. We're not allowed to see the head. Okay, so we need another four tons and change of steel. Um, we need diamonds. We're working on, well, we have 12 tons. Of, we have all the diamond we need. 2,500 grams, 2,500 kilograms of glass. We have about half of that. So we are, we're, we're on our way. Oh, we're out of steel. Okay. Eventually, we'll have steel. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, while we're waiting for that, let's check on Smirlos again. Okay, is he still growing? Yeah, 91%. 91%. Alright. They're hanging in there. Did I tell you about the production issue? As in, like, your your work production issue? Um, 
I feel like I, I read something. <laughs> was there a production issue? Is that what you're saying? Production was down for a period of time? I feel like I read about it somewhere. Maybe on another channel. Maybe not. Or it could be a different one. <laughs> Five minutes down, entire set. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> but it came back up, right? Was that due to something you knew about? Or due to something that the site being down revealed? I mean, because it's bad, the site went down. But if you discovered something that now you're going to be able to fix, that can be a good thing. So, do we have materials? I think. So we make. Um, how much steel do we need for that for the head? Is it five tons again? Then we might not have enough lime right now. Uh, we have poke shell molds. We could probably queue up something. Let's check our printing uh, pod here. It'd be great if like there was some lime, right? Uh, I will take the, the seeds. Can the rock crusher small poke malt to lime? Do that forever. Um, and then fossil to lime is already set to forever. We could go mine more fossil if we need more lime as well, but I think we might be okay. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to the cloud fair. <laughs> Uh, uh, cloud flare probably redirect they were putting in place when the site went down I saw the rules it was like hmm you were doing the logic wrong yeah that logic is hard <laughs> alright we're making more lime that's good it is good how much steel did I have queued up here and, okay infinite cool so once we hit five tons, I'll probably just turn the job off. Since <laughs> we're gonna be done. I'm leaving the plastic going, that last one, just because it's adding heat to the uh, to the room. Which is a good thing for continued power. There we go. Looking good. So, um, I think morale will be the last thing that we'll have to fix because apparently some some of our dupes have less than 60 morale I mean it is a, it's total morale minus the need right if the URL is production or production dark and route is blah 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 then redirect to production route Ooh. Huh. Uh, what is the order of precedence on those ands and ors? <laughs> is the and higher precedence than or? Have I spotted the problem? <laughs> So, like, this is one total morale, right? So, everything in production was pointing to the route inside production. Too many request errors. Whoops. Right. Yep. That makes sense. So, uh... The duplicate's morale must exceed their morale need. So, I think the 16 morale is the, it's just the first number, right? Oh yeah, so, so now Stinky is 16. So yeah, it's fine. So Stinky's morale went down to 15, but it's now 16. So I guess it's just gonna be timing <laughs> once we get the monument, if we'll have 16 morale and all the dupes. Uh, all right, so we're waiting on steel and glass. And we have the diamond. How 
How many idle dupes do we have? A few. I guess while we're waiting for things, I can make sure that we're sweeping up the diamond that we mine into the base. Oh, it's down here, right? Diamonds. Now, it is kind of warm, and that's not going to be great for the base, but it's okay because we're almost done. <laughs> could possibly go wrong. Everything. <laughs> well, I mean, it, if it's too hot, it will boil off the water where we're dumping everything into. But it's probably fine. Hold on, what's the temp? Uh, it's so hard to see the temp. The water here is 95F, 35C. I mean, there is a bit of buffer, right? So, it, it's probably fine. There, there goes the diamond. If it, if it instantly goes to steam, we know things have went badly. <laughs> Okay, nah, that's fine. So, steel, 2300 kilograms, glass, 1400 kilograms. Uh, do we have the right inputs over here? Like, we were making lime, right? Uh, what are we at? Okay, I think we should have enough of the inputs to get us over the line for steel. Just a question of getting dupes over here to do the work. Make sure this is a little higher, higher priority. Um, still making glass. 41 more. Is that is that going to get us to the right spot? I think so. How much glass was it for the head? The monument top. 2,500. Okay. Yeah, so I think 100 j jobs in the Glass Forge was more than enough. Hey, Ninja Juice, you're back. <laughs> Looking over here again. Welcome. Got the dance emotes going. They're honestly better than my dance emotes. <laughs> there you go. Foxies are great, though. I really like Foxies. Uh, the party one... And the rave one. <laughs> mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, auto save. Hmm. Alright, I, honestly, I'll, I'll look at that. What's that? Blankies? <laughs> That's nice. That is kind of cute. Oh yeah, I like the... Uh... <laughs> War take one rave. Neat. It's a very cute. Uh, it's, it's worth calling out. Like A lot of the things here would not have been possible without Brainless Society and, and others as well. Mostly Brainless Society. <laughs> Um, we got the, the iron volcano set up going, and we have so much iron to use for making steel because of that. And many other suggestions and ideas and hints <laughs> over the last however many cycles. <laughs> uh, awaiting coolant. How is it going here with coolant? Yeah. <laughs> Lots of fun emotes. Okay, so our coolant, it's coming into the loop at 283C, and it's coming out at 100... Okay, so that's that's reasonable, actually. <laughs> I 
think we're pretty stable. So 2,800 kilograms, 1,500 kilograms of glass. I think though that we're just kind of stuck waiting. We can't even put the thing down until we have enough materials, right? No. Soon. So in the meantime, did we break our storage? No, no, there's still water in it, that's good. How is heat looking? So the base is kind of warm. We are supposed to have been cooling the air that's going in and cooling the base, and that, like it seems cooler over here, but I think, for a few reasons, there's some, some warmness. So like the oxygen that we're pumping out is cool. I guess if I really wanted to cool the base, what I would do is I would use the, um, use liquid, I guess. Hmm. To molt, to, uh, with like radiant pipes and pull heat out of the base. But this is fine. We're, we're gonna make it to the <laughs> building the monument. We're gonna see how tall the head is. Is it taller than, I don't know, does this count one, two, three, four, four blocks? It would seem out of proportion if it was bigger, but we're, we're gonna see once we have the materials. Oh, hey, look. Uh, I can just do this. I still can't build it, but I can quickly get to there because it remembers that was the last thing I clicked on. So, still waiting on glass. Steel is coming up, three tons. Uh, I just think I would have enough patience uh, for games like this. For, <laughs> I'm up for the try. Uh, so you would or you wouldn't? Yeah, to be fair, I think um, if we look at our, my save, uh, like my save files for this game, I, I've tried playing this game several times. I've probably spent more time watching other people play back in the day than uh, playing myself. And then I, I've made several starts and just kind of like not convert, gotten very far into it, but it's been streaming this and being like, okay, I'm gonna come back to this for, you know, like three hours once a week. That's really gotten me to this point. And some help from, uh, from chat. Ooh, yeah, another principle. So it's definitely too late, I think, in the run to worry about getting any more dupes, but we could take some food. I'll take some curried tablets just in case. What do the curative tablets do again? Minor germ-based diseases. Okay. Alleviates food poisoning. We have one person with food poisoning, so I guess that'll be... Uh, how long have I been streaming today? <laughs> or in total? Probably you mean in total, because you can see down in the, the thing below how long today. Um, I started streaming... I think it was towards the end of last March, so it's been less than a year in total, yeah. It's been less than a year. Um, my first stream back at the end of March was uh, Hogwarts Legacy on my uh, Xbox. With no mic, no cam, and just me. Actually, I didn't, I, I didn't have a camera until uh, the end of August, right? Because Starfield came out and I did like an unboxing stream for the Constellation Edition. Oh yeah, you hate no mic streams? Well, good news, I don't do those anymore. Um, so yeah, it was just me on the Xbox playing Hogwarts Legacy. So it's just game sounds. 
I had my phone for chat. <laughs> So there was that, and that, um, I did have a mic for the other non-Xbox streams, uh, because I streamed, uh, Bannerlord, uh, uh, um, Mountain Blade 2, Bannerlord, and, uh, some modded Minecraft. <laughs> no mic, no backseating tag, follower only. Yeah. I mean, I see, I see other streams that are follower only, and I understand the sentiment of, like, um, wanting, being like, you know, if you want to grow, if you're starting out as a channel, you gotta have followers. Uh, Twitch wants you to do that. And it's like, okay, well, people are gonna want to say something to me, so they, if they have to follow, then I'll get followers. But I don't think it really works like that. All three together, you just report it. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the way I look full, so I'm just not a camera guy. That's fair. Um... I, <laughs> I mean, obviously I put some effort into my appearance, uh, because as far as I know, this is not a natural color, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway. So how are we doing on steel? I'm still making steel. That's not a natural hair color. Exactly. Oh, oh, question mark. Exclamation. Uh, no, I don't think so. That would be an uh, interesting mutation. If there is such a gene combination, sign me up for the gene therapy. It'll save a lot of uh, bleaching and dying. Uh huh, yeah. <laughs> think you getting some ninja masks and stream that way? That'd be cool. Although, it may be challenging to um, have good audio in a mask. Uh, if there's a gene combo that also gives me hair in general, <laughs> I, that, that might be um, more, when, when gene therapy is like a thing, <laughs> that, that's like, you know, people could sign up for, that probably will be a thing that happens first. So 3,900, uh, class 1,700. So just waiting for the dupes to do stuff. Or have power. It's, are we having power issues? Maybe. Hold on, stand by. What, what's going on with power here? Did we? We're out of coal, okay. That's a problem. Uh, all right, friends, feeling kind of crummy. Going to call early, uh, an early night rest. Yeah, probably a good idea. I hope the rest of the stream continues to be great. I hope so too. Thanks for coming in, chatting. It's appreciated. Uh, the more, the merrier. <laughs> thanks for everyone here lurking as well. Even if you're not chatting, thanks for just hanging out. It's uh, supporting the channel and uh, all of that. Uh, we need more coal, as it turns out, or, I mean, if I was trying to <laughs> have a more sustainable long-term base, we would do something else about the power. But for right now, let's, let's hunt for some coal. Let me pause real quick. And let's go to the material overlay. And we're looking for consumable ore. Oh, there was a little bit more here. Grab that up. So we're looking for that kind of color there. Uh, Alt S. Okay, there is more over here. And it's mostly accessible already, which is good. Let's do two, one, two, three. So we should be able to go across here. That should be good. Let's take this out a little bit more. There we go. 
And a little bit more coal here. How are we gonna get there? Maybe this way? There we go. Should be good. Oh, there is a shovel there. What are you doing out there? It's a tame one. How did it get out? I guess. They must be able to go through the door when dupes go through it. When dupes go through it. Hmm. I'm not sure otherwise, because this is all obsidian. Hmm. Don't know. Uh, I don't think you uh, ever think. I assume you're talking to me <laughs> for the follow. So thanks. Yeah, no problem. Um, just trying to support other streamers out there. Insert Marxy's whole spiel. <laughs> I'm not out there making bots <laughs> to uh, to lurk in all the channels or anything, but still. Yeah, you talking to me? I don't know. There's a bunch of streamers in the chat. <laughs> They're probably all following you too. But yeah, you're you're very welcome. The real problem is is I can't really watch all the people I'm following. I was saying before, like, before the stream, I had, like, six streams up that I was, uh, you know, kind of circulating attention across. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, look. Why are these shovels out? What's up with that? Maybe only Foxy? Okay. Hmm. Well, this still has power, right? This is good. Okay. It'd be bad if our uh, oxygen <laughs> supply stopped working. All right, at some point we'll have coal again. Oh, look, we got some. We're doing some. It's good. Uh, I don't think we need the, uh, oops, the Eteriser here anymore. So we almost have 5,000, uh, so 5 tons of steel. Uh, we have not enough glass yet. So once we hit 5 tons of steel, then we can turn off the, uh, metal refinery. I assume we have enough input still to, to make some more. Yeah. Should be good. Let's go. Ah. So the steam in this room. It's doing good. We're 150C up here at the top, which is good. Uh, yeah, I just bought this PC, so I'm still figuring things out. Were you... Uh, I feel like I recall a message. You talking about a new PC. So I think that scans. <laughs> that makes sense. Still a little awkward to look up at the uh, <laughs> the stream dashboard up there, but it's better than looking all the way over there for it. So anyway, are we there yet? Almost. So how much steel are we producing again per job? We're producing 100 kilograms. So it's like two more go throughs, and we'll have enough steel, which I'm excited about. There we 
go. 4,980. So we just need 20 more kilograms. And an auto save, apparently. Yeah, I'm, I'm really feeling that I should prioritize the trains to choose earlier for uh, just travel efficiency sake, or not built everything at the edge of the map. That's not strictly speaking necessary to like build stuff over here. I could have built it right next to the base. Um, I just didn't, I, you know, when I was figuring out what I was going to do with this, the, the industrial brick, I didn't really have a sense of where I wanted to like stop <laughs> the playthrough. So kind of future-proofing, I was like, okay, let's build all of, all of this stuff on the edge. Uh, with, like, a uh, power line going up and up and down it. All right, we got five tons. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the, uh, the steel production here. And uh, make sure, yeah, that's done as well. So now we're just producing glass. I think we needed two and a half tons of glass. So there it goes. Fortunately, sand is not a problem. Let's see. What do we got in the printing pot? Um, I guess we'll take a Volpa. We'll just make sure to wrangle it. There we go. Free food. Uh, so is this all underground? There is a surface, uh, which is where we're building, where we built uh, rockets, right? So although it does get buried with like stuff, meteorites crashing down and like leaving debris. But yeah, so we have a surface here. Let me uh, go into the screenshot mode. So yeah, here's here's kind of an overview of the planetoid that we started at. So the the base game, you just have like the one planetoid, as I think how it works, uh, and it's a big map. Uh, I'm also playing with the spaced out DLC, which gives you more planetoids that you can build bases on. Um, and so there's basically two options. One is to start with the big map like this, the classic style map. Uh, and then you have other planetoids that are smaller. Or you can start out um, with the spaced out DLC style starting asteroid, a planetoid, whatever you want to call it, that's much smaller, that's like, uh, here we go, like this size. Alt S, there we go. So I've not gone all the way, oh no, no, the bottom is right here, right? So I've not explored everything here, but this is a smaller planetoid. <laughs> Um, and if you start with the DLC and you choose this kind of map, you can actually start on one of these and that forces you to like colonize elsewhere and stuff earlier. Um, so what I'm doing is kind of a mixture where I have the big starting asteroid planetoid uh, and then I can still go to the other ones. There is a star map too, right? So uh, our starting asteroid was this one right here and then Smirilos is the other one I just showed. And there are other ones we could go to and set up bases and, and do sorts of things too. And there's like mining and space and uh, all that. Like what I'm going for right now is kind of a, um, uh, the, the easiest kind of like end, I guess, home sweet home. But there's other stuff we can do as well uh, that I'll probably, probably do later. So. Uh, we almost have enough glass. We definitely have enough diamonds. Uh, I might just snooze the ad timer a little bit. Come on, make glass. Make it. Make it faster. <laughs> Wait, how much glass did we need to make the head? I think it was 2,500 kilograms. Furniture. There we go. Monument top. Yeah, 2,500 kilograms of glass. Oh, this is a good amount of glass uh, and the diamond we have and uh, steel we have now so I think each is each job a um, hundred kilograms no 25 okay so we need like 450 more so that's, um, I 
450 divided by 25 is uh, some amount. Look, it's Friday. I don't want to do math. We'll we'll get we'll get there in a few minutes. Actually, I remember one of the early streams of playing that someone came on, and I was in a similar kind of thing where I was like, okay, well we need to do some math to figure out like temperature transfer. Oh, I think it was when we were doing the cooling. Um doing this setup and trying to figure out how many Weezworts we needed to cool or something like that. And someone did the math for me. And that's that's great chat, right? <laughs> chat, do my math for me, please. Y you guys don't need to, but. All right, so we need like 400 more. Mm -hmm. You hear that sound? What is that sound? Is it is it the blueprints? Oh, I shouldn't have. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not gonna deal with that right now <laughs> because that pauses the game while it's doing. It. So there is like a um, a thing that as you play the game, it unlocks different variants of items like decorative styles. Uh, so you need a high IQ for this type of game. Only if you want to, like, precisely do things. You can just, like, wing it. Figure out what works. Uh, one of the things I was trying to do here is not have any of the dupes die. But it's not that big of a deal. You can print more dupes. They're, they're literally called uh, duplicates, right? <laughs> so you just print more of them. Uh, I mean, it's really only game over if they all die, so... No big deal. Just print more. Uh, for this run, I was trying not to because uh, I think all my previous runs, a duplicate has died, and I, don't know, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> and so far, so good. All right, we're almost there. I really wanna, I wanna get the uh, the uh, the thing built. Twenty-two, twenty-four. Can we can we increase the priority of this? There we go. That's the problem. It's not high enough priority. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Hmm. You know, the mistake I made was that I should have had um, a bin, a, uh, a storage bin of, of sand over here. I realize that in retrospect now. 